Hey, welcome back into today's video. If you're new here on the channel, this is the series known as Exploring YouTubers, where we look into YouTubers that have done terrible things or had severe lapses in judgment. And today we'll be talking about a YouTuber by the name of Brooke Hotz. She's been accused of animal abuse, and I've worn my attention uh, getting attire today because I want to bring attention to this, and this ensures that there is no way that attention cannot be brought. Over on the Repzilla YouTube, you can see uh, I've actually retweeted this, and uh, I want to give a little bit of context about this. Um, when I first saw this, I was taken aback for a couple of reasons. It's uh, 100 uh, trigger warning about this. There, it, it is animal abuse, and what really, what the thing I really noticed was is how her demeanor changed. It was like one second she was this charismatic person, and the second. The next second, she was just uh, somebody completely different. She did come out in an attempt at an apology, but I believe it was done too late. We'll go over that in just a second. It's just, whew, I'm without words. Well, as you can tell, It was an accidental upload. Uh, I'm guessing this is something that she meant to cut out of the video, but forgot to do so. So this gives us a preview of how things are handled behind the scenes, and it's not very pretty. In an August 6th tweet, she said, to everyone who has been commenting on my social media as of recently, anything I say isn't going to make those who believe I'm a bad person stop believing that. And I'm aware of this. I apologize to anyone who's been affected negatively by the footage. First off, I want to address the uncut footage on the date in particular it was filmed. And actually this past week, things in my outside life have been less than exceptional. I'm not going to play the victim card or anything of that sort, but I do want to point out that I'm rarely as upset as what is shown in the footage. The bubbly, happy-go-lucky brook that you often see in my videos is typically an accurate representation of me. But it's obvious that I'm playing up my mood in this video when I'm clearly actually frustrated. Now, from a YouTuber's perspective, uh, just watching the uncut footage, um, that's not what I was seeing. What I was seeing was she wanted things to be a proper way and it wasn't going the way that she wanted and uh, out of frustration, she acted the way that we saw. That being said, this does not justify me yelling at my dog the way I did, and I'm fully aware of that. Should I have gotten as angry as I did in the video? No. Should I have raised my voice and yelled at him? No. However, when my 75 pound Doberman is jumping up in my face with his mouth open, I do, as a dog parent, have to show him that this behavior is unacceptable. But I want to make it known, regardless of what my dog does, I should have not acted that way towards him. Hmm. She goes on to clarify that she's not an abuser of animals and that the way that she was acting does not accurately portray what animal abuse is. That there are other animals out there being abused in such a uh, horrible way that this does not uh, represent what animal abuse is. And that strikes me as an odd because it doesn't matter if it's uh, more or less animal abuse is animal abuse and the way that she acted towards her dog was unacceptable. She says that my dog in no way, shape, or form was hurt by any action that I displayed in this video. Well, it, might, it very well might have not been hurt. However, the psychological uh, experience that it has, you ever see an animal and you, you can kind of like make a quick motion or something of that nature and then it flinches? Or you, you've seen the occasional stray cat who's had an abusive uh, growing up and it's very hard to get them to trust you? Uh, that's what this type of behavior is going to set up in the dog and it can make the dog uh, emotionally very just troubled and they could act out later on in the future and then that could result in the dog being put down. The most ironic thing about all of this is how now the rest of her videos are just so unbearable to watch because it's all the, the, the new context is just it's just impossible to overlook. How? Do you abuse your animal and then just upload the- You didn't even get exposed! You exposed yourself! I have- I have never seen this level of stupidity, ever. She goes on to say that she did not spit on her dog. 
and then says, but I understand that it could look like I did. Uh, now this is, th now this really bothers me. Let's, let's go back to the footage. Well, as you tell. Okay, here's the spit. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how she can say this, that was not a spit. So, let's make the, it's like the, sp that definitely sounded like a sp let's, let's review. That was a spit. Did I spit on my dog? No. I'm not sure if I believe that, that it's a no, but I am interested in what you guys think, so let me know below. If you guys do want to read the rest of this tweet, I am going to put it in the description below. People Magazine actually wrote an article. I'll also put it in the description for you guys. It does say that uh, the Los Angeles Police Department is looking into this. They're investigating to see uh, how severe the animal abuse is. I think that at this point, the the alleged anim animal abuse is concerned. So many people, it went so viral. Um, a lot of people are saying that they do not want the Doberman to be in her hands. LAPD tells people, we are aware of the incident. Our animal cruelty task forces received numerous complaints about the video and we are currently looking into the matter. And I do want to give a round of applause because people using their voice is making a difference. I've said since day one, our voice is one of the most powerful things that we have to use and uh, the dogs, the cats, the animals in general, they can't speak up uh, for themselves. So if we see this, we do need to uh, say something. Her Doberman's name is Spinx, so let's send good vibes to Spinx to hopefully that everything works out in his favor. And uh, the last thing I wanna point out is that this has impacted her channel greatly, uh, losing thousands of subscribers. And I feel like that's justifiable. I feel like uh, possibly more needs to be done but i'm not the person to be saying that type of thing i want to know more about what you guys think i get really worked up when it comes to cases where animals are involved um it it's pr probably one of the it's probably one of my triggers i would say now now as always i do not want anything that i've said in this video to sway your opinion towards any type of direction I am going to put all the necessary materials in the description below so you guys can come to and form your own opinions about this. And when you do, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below because as interesting as this is, there's always something more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. Uh, this is itchy. <laughs> Um, I, uh, w it was a daily uploader for two years fixing to go back to it. Uh, I was frustrated at times. Never did I take it out on my Greg cap. Never, not once, ever. And nor would I. Greg! It's, me and Greg have been doing YouTube since, uh, for about two years now. And, uh, he is, he's actually my, uh, video editor. He's got, he's gonna be editing this one with some probably, uh, tension. He gets uh, very angry at these types of things. But uh, we're gonna do a, a live stream this weekend, probably tomorrow, I'm thinking. And uh, uh, we're gonna be getting back to doing regular content. And I, I do wanna apologize that I haven't been doing that lately. Um, things have been going a little bit crazy, but we're getting back at it. Uh, I know that you're repping if you're not repping your gagging. Oh yeah, don't forget to get your Rep Squad membership shirt it's a mandatory of the rep squad it's a thing and it protects you from all sorts of evil and heinous things while you're out here exploring the internet that being said i know that you're repping if you're not repping your gagging how to do that all you gotta subscribe notification turn on be in the comment section to every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there and the rest of the rep squad community as well and i expect to see you there too because channel loves you greg You wanna go outside?